And I just began to think about all those negative things again. My identity, who was I? What did this amputation mean to me as a, as a, as a person? And as my wife saw me struggling and the tears began to flow from my eyes, she ran over and said, what's wrong? And I began to articulate all those things. Those 95% of things that was, that's right. I don't know if I'm your, I'm your husband. How's John Jr. going to, to see you again? And she said the most remarkable words that stopped my pension swing. She said, John, we are going to get through this together. And when she did that, my pendulum stopped. And my son, he does a cartwheel, jumps off the swing, comes running over, Daddy, Daddy, what's wrong, what's wrong? My son just validated me as his father. And all the, the people, the United States Army, wrapped their arms around me. They, they, they kept me right there and would not allow me to fail because it's our faith, it's our, our families, it's our friendships that equal our freedom, our liberation. And BP, what you, what, you, what you experience out there, and all the folks that are represented here this evening, you're going to experience freedom. Freedom from the, the mindsets of people thinking that something is not possible. And I want you to pay close attention on the inspirational side of things, that when you begin to see somebody run or, or hit a tennis ball, there's going to be a moment when, when the disability washes away and you're going to be cheering just sport. Take a pause and reflect on that one moment. Because inspiration leads to motivation. Motivation in turn causes actions. Actions lead to results. And results do a couple of things. They either re-inspire or they allow someone else that's watching to catch the vision. So my 95% of things I was thinking about back on that playground turned back into a pendulum swing in the other direction. 95% of things I could, I could do. Those things I can't do anymore, like Matt Stutzman, can't wash dishes, <laughs> can't back in the rug.